All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So the jump scans have finally surfaced online and we actually got the information of what was in the V-Jump a few days ago, but we didn't have the scans themselves. So I decided to hold off on speaking about this until we had something a bit more tangible. And now, or at least where I got this screenshot from, thanks to DBS Hype on Twitter, we now have access to the V-Jump scans. So for Dragon Ball Legends, we already know one of them because, well, it's happening right now. And the brand new sparking unit that'll be coming into the game. So just knocking out the very first thing, uh, the Zenkai unit that we're getting that's in the game right now, like as I'm recording this video, is of course the Zenkai EX Ginyu. Now, however, if you want to Zenkai awaken that unit, you can. If you want to run them on whatever team you want, you can. There's not really much else to report about that because if you want to know more details about that unit, he's literally accessible in the game right this second. So I'm not going to focus on Ginyu because he's actually not even the most important part of the V-Jump scan, we do now know the next new sparking unit that'll be coming into the game. And, oh my God, I, I'm actually, I'm I'm way more excited about this than I normally should be, but we are finally getting Maju. Now, the reason why I'm so excited about this is because of the fact that Maju really gets no love, right? But it comes down to 3D Dragon Ball games anyway. Excluding heroes and excluding his inclusion in uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, the last time we had Majub in a 3D Dragon Ball game was Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. It has been many years <laughs> since this man has been in a game. And the thing is, Ubi is a cool character in general. So the fact that he honestly got no love until recently is kind of crazy to me, but still having him in the game, nonetheless, is still pretty dope. But anyway, we are getting Majub. Obviously he's gonna be ran on GT. Um, I'm actually wondering if he's gonna have a regen tag too, because obviously Majub fused, or I guess assimilated in a way, with uh, Majin Buu, and he does, well, I would assume that he would have all those properties of Buu, right? I mean, we've seen him use, I believe, what, like Candy Beam and uh, other things as well. So by default, he should also be regen, right? But apart from that though, the first time ever, honestly, we now know the element factor of the unit before we even get the actual announcement from the Twitter account or even the in-game news, this Majub unit is going to be a yellow unit. Now, I'm actually down for this because uh, when you think about it, or at least when it comes down to GT, we did just get, you know, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We got Ice and Nova, right? So I don't know if he's going to try to top, like if he's going to be the main yellow unit that you run on GT over like Nova, right? I mean, you still have like, you know, the other super, like the LS Super Saiyan 4 Goku that you can also run on GT as well. But uh, honestly, I I'm really hoping that this Majub is kind of crispy, honestly, to, especially since he has two yellow units that he has to try to like be better than. I'm hoping that he brings something really good to the table. And again, if he has like regenerative abilities, that would definitely give him a solid edge in a well general retrospect. But anyway, um, we actually don't have any translations for this like at all, right? So I'm kind of roughly translating everything that I see. So with the very first image on the top, well, in the section for Maju, right? Um, that first picture that you see like on the top right area, um, it shows him doing a type of barrier attack and the move from the translation is called Inside Star. Uh, I, I don't know if that's actually gonna be like the full fledged name or whatever the case may be, but in terms of the translations though, the move is called Inside Star. And what it says is to demonstrate the effects such as arts card draw. So very vague, but I'm assuming that when you execute that ability, it's more than likely going to either increase your arts card draw speed, which makes a bit more sense because it does make sense with them doing a barrier and then it somehow decreases your enemy's uh, arts card draw speed, which if that would happen, that'd be kind of cool. But more than likely when you execute this attack you're going to be increasing your arts card draw speed which again is always a good thing because the higher the speed the more you're able to continue your combo and again like i said he's gonna have to try to compete with two other yellow units so anything additional to his kit that he's able to utilize is definitely going to be a good thing now th there was there was something else right if we go down to like the bottom section, like right below where it shows uh, what element factor he is, right? 
Now, again, I I'm actually happy that they told us what Element Factory is, but it comes down to the details of his other, uh, other abilities, I should say, right? So it says that when he's in battle, right? You draw cards to strengthen yourself and the effects differ depending on the type of card, right? At first, I didn't really understand what it meant because obviously it's translating, but just trying to formulate what it means with a bit more clarity, I'm assuming that when obviously when he's in battle, depending on what card you utilize will determine what kind of buff he gets. Uh, now, as to what those buffs may be, we have no idea, right? Like for example, it could be if you land strike, he gets a strike buff. If you land blast, he gets a blast buff. Or like maybe if you land your special skill, he gets like arts card draw increase, you know, something along those lines, right? Or it could be something out of the blue, right? Like maybe like kind of like how it is with Gogeta, you pop your special skill and you nullify cover change or you nullify element factor or whatever the case would be. We don't know what any of these buffs are going to be at all, right? So, and not only that, like even though we have the benefit of knowing what element factor is, we don't even know what type of unit he's going to be, right? And I mean that in terms of his typing, right? Whether he's a melee type, range type, etc., etc. Uh, which honestly speaking, if, if he's not like a melee or range type, something's wrong. A support type, no. <laughs> and a defense type, actually I, I could see a defense type because there was if i'm not mistaken there was a moment in gt where he tried to like like hold it down for a little while for something i, I forgot the specific moment but all in all though like I, i'm actually excited for this right now of course this is just v jump so we're not going to get all the extra details that we really want until later on but what i will say though is again majub is a character that gets darn near no love right Apart from his inclusion in Xenoverse 2, the last or last 3D drag mall game that he was in was, of course, Tenkaichi 3. That's also excluding Heroes, because Heroes has everybody, right? Majub really doesn't see many moments in the spotlight. And when it came down to GT characters, I've actually seen a lot of people say, when are we going to get Majub, right? Because obviously, GT has like a wide variety of characters, but we've practically gotten them all except for Majub. Right? And I mean, to this day, I'm still wanting Goats and GT. <laughs> but with that being said, now that he's in Dragon Ball Legends, I'm hoping that this unit actually has the moment to shine. Right? But we have a lot of powerful units in this game. And with him being a yellow unit, he is 100% susceptible to getting completely obliterated by, of course, Zenkai Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, which is, I mean, a threat no matter what element factor you are, but still, with him being a yellow unit, if you're going up against Sun Family, probably not a good idea to run Majub. <laughs> but, oh no, though, I am excited for what Majub can bring. Again, these are only vague details right now, but hopefully, actually not even hopefully, um, hopefully in the future, I should say, we'll get more details and figure out more of his abilities and all that stuff. Because again, I really, really do want Majub to be good because it, it, we went from GT, supposedly, so it should have been a powerful attack from day one, but it wasn't. It was a really bad tag and suffered for a very long time, but now getting the love that it deserves, right? We got like Senkai units with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. We have, oh, and also uh, Super 17. We got newer units like uh, the LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku if you want to run him. We got Gogeta, we got the Shadow Dragons. So now GT is getting love. Now I'm just hoping that they can hold a good spot as being a solid team because I don't want this tag to go down the drain. It should, in theory, be one of the most busted teams in the game, and it's not. But they're nowhere near as bad as they used to be. They're actually really good to run now. But those are my thoughts on the V Jump scans, or at least in terms of Legends, because I don't play Dokkan. But. I do want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Are you guys actually excited to be able to get Majub or are you kind of indifferent about it? Again, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Edukuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.